item difficulty analysis for multiple choice exam questions to determine the p-value the proportion or the percentage value using both is SPSS and Excel item difficulty measures the percentage of students who answered multiple choice question item correctly it is frequently called the p-value proportion or percentage value the item difficulty value range between zero and one the item difficulty reveals whether an item is too easy or too hard a higher percentage item difficulty indicates an easier item and a lower percentage item difficulty indicates a more difficult item value of one indicates very easy question and value of zero points to a very hard question an item with a p-value of zero or one does not differentiate between students who know the subject and the material and the content and those who do not in this case if you have an item difficulty for a question that is zero or one delete that item from the exam or exams that are either too easy or too hard and an ideal question has an item difficulty value between 0.4 and 0.6 the way to calculate the item difficulty is to use the following equation count the number of students answering item correctly divide that by the total number of students then multiply the product by 100 to generate an item difficulty the table below classify the questions according to the to the value of the item difficulty an item difficulty with a value range between 0 and 20 percent is considered as a very difficult question a question with 21 to 40 percent range is a difficult question an item that has 41 to 60 percent range value is considered as a moderately difficult question and any question that has a range of 61 to 80 percent considered to be an easy one and an item or a question that has a p-value greater than 81 percent considered to be a very easy question so these are the criteria to classify question based on the item difficulty value in this table shows 15 multiple choice question answered by 10 students and the answer was recorded as one for correct answer zero for wrong answer and to calculate the item difficulty or the p-value for each question add all the correct answer scored for each question and divide that by the total number of students for the first case it's five correct answer divided by 10 so it is 0.5 and for the question number 15 two correct answer divided by 10 is 0.2 again from the p-value for each item or each question of these 15 questions the questions can be labeled as either easy or difficult or acceptable for the question number one the p-value is 0.5 so it is an ideal question within the range for moderately difficult question the question number two and three is having they both have a p-value greater, great, higher value of 0 
so that indicates that these questions are easy and they are uh, easy questions and need to be re-modified or readjusted question number four to question number 11 are an idea uh, up to 11 are an ide idealistic questions question number 12 is an very easy question as 90 percent of the student answered the question correctly and for question number 15 only two students managed to answer the question correctly so it is a very hard question so this is the way to classify items or questions in an exam that contain multiple choice question is to calculate the item difficulty item difficulty analysis in SPSS and Excel for multiple choice question exam to determine the p-value for each question and to identify questions that are easy and questions that are difficult based on the equation given below item difficulty equals to number of students answering item correctly divided by the total number of students multiplied by a hundred item difficulties measures the proportion of students who answer a question or an item correctly sometimes it is referred to as a p value p stands for proportion the item difficulty value range from zero to one zero indicates that no student has had answered the question or the item correctly so it is an extremely difficult question and uh, item difficulty of uh, one means that all the student had answered the question correctly so it is a very easy question and the way to calculate the item difficulty is to count the number of the student who who answered the item correctly and divide divide that by the total number of students participating or taking the exam and to get the percentage multiply that by 100 here i have a, an a result of an exam or a test for 38 student who had answered 76 multiple choice question and their score was entered as zero or one zero for wrong answer one for correct answer and to calculate and determine the item difficulty for each question and to determine which question is very easy which question is very difficult which item is ideal and acceptable we will follow the formula just described previously so i'm going to type in this cell p value as we're going to calculate the p value or the item difficulty and to calculate the item difficulty i'm going to insert the equal sign and then type sum and then select the sum function and then select the range for the first question so we are going to select the scores for item number one for student one uh, up to student number three and 38 and then we close close the bracket and then we're going to insert or saw a bracket between the sum and its and its range so uh, as we are going to divide the sum by uh, the number of the total number of the student participating in the exam which is 38 so this the formula or the equation adding all the value on the uh, for the items uh, for each student their score whether it is correct or wrong and then divide that by 38 and if we click on the enter button or enter icon 
the item difficulty value is calculated to reduce at the decimal i'm going to select only two decimal point for this value uh, the, for the first item or questions the value for the p is 0.18 and uh, to auto fill and auto calculate the item difficulty for all the 70 uh, remaining 75 multiple choice questions select and drag so that uh, toward the end of the column that column ends for question number 76 and the excel will auto calculate and fill the item difficulty for each question again we can see here that each question has its own way of measuring its difficulty through item difficulty to make things much easier also i'm going to color code those value using the table here small table uh, taking in consideration that the ideal question that has a difficulty item difficulty range from 0.4 to 0.6 and i'm going to increase it a little bit here taking a value of 0.4 to 0.66 so to color code these values select the row for first and then click on the conditional formatting scroll to new row, row rule and then in the uh, select rule type click on the format only cell that contain so in this format i'm going to color code only cells that has specific value so cell value i'm going to use a range between 0.4 and 0.66 so what i'm going to do here is color code anything between 0.4 and 0.66 and i'm going to give it a color by clicking on format and clicking on fill and since, since this is what we want to select i'm going to select, click on the green color and if i click on ok again and click here and ok all the values that has a range between a range between 0.4 and 0.66 is color coded as green and green indicates that this is an ideal question this is a, a question that is really good to use in the exam now for the rest which is of course the rest will be um, either very easy or very extremely easy or extremely difficult again we're going to do the same uh, click on conditional formatting scroll down to new rule and then click on format cells that contain again the same thing and instead of selecting between not between so we're going to use exactly the same value 0.4 and 0.66 so the any value that is not between 0.4 and 0.66 i'm going to color code that by clicking in the fill and give it a, give it a red color meaning that this question is either it is very very easy or very very difficult click on okay and then click on okay again here here as we can see that each item has it is its value for difficulty and each difficulty is color coded red for very easy or very difficult and green is an ideal or acceptable uh, questions with acceptable difficulties to calculate the percentage of item difficulty you set the percentage and then into the cell next to it going to insert the equal sign and then select the value of the item difficulty for question number one multiply that by 100 and press on enter a percentage of the item difficulty is calculated and i'm going to decrease the decimal point to just one decimal point and to calculate the percentage of item difficulty for the rest of the multiple choice question just select drag 
to auto fill and auto calculate the value for the rest of the questions again here the percentage of item difficulty is calculated with the p-value for each item here on this side a small description for the range of the item difficulty any item or questions that has a p-value or item difficulty from 0 to 20 is labeled as a very difficult questions from 20 to 40 is difficult from 41 to 60 considered to be moderately difficult 61 to 80 percent is easy and 81 to 100 percent is considered to be a very easy questions or question or an item if we look at the item difficulty percentage for question number one we see that the value is 18.4 percent using the value here a range of the value this question is very difficult as only 18.4 percent of the student answered this question correctly so this question is extremely difficult one and uh, question number two next to it has a value for item difficulty of 95 nearly 95 percent which indicate that 95 percent of the student participating in the exam answered this question question number two correctly so this indicate that this question is extremely very easy question the one next to it is just on the border between an ideal an ideal um, question ideal question has a p value range of 0.41 to 60 as shown here 0.41 to 60 so this one is just on the border of being considered to be uh, an ideal question the one next to it is nearly 70 nine percent item difficulties which uh, indicate that this question is a very easy questions and uh, so on so we're looking at analyzing the difficulty item difficulty for the rest and the, uh, and looking at this one here saying it's five five seven fifty seven percent that's an ideal ideal question the one here 81 is very easy this one is an ideal question so this is the way to sort out and label the questions in an exam paper as either uh, very easy easy ideal questions very difficult or difficult questions you based on the item difficulty calculation item difficulty analysis in SPSS is one of the method to evaluate the quality of multiple choice question exam item difficulty measures the proportion of student who answered the question correctly sometimes it is referred to as p-value stands for proportion or percentage value item difficulty value range from 0 to 1 0 means that no student had answered the question correctly so the question is an extremely difficult one and an item difficulty of a value of 1 indicates that all the students had answered the question correctly and the question or the item is an extremely easy question the way to calculate the item difficulty value is to count the number of students who answered the question correctly divide that by the total number of students participating in the exam and then multiply the product by 100 to get the percentage or proportion of the value for item difficulty 
here in uh, this sheet of Excel I have an exam result for 38 students answering 76 questions from question number one to question number 76 those are multiple choice questions and each question the score for it was either zero or one zero indicates wrong answer one means correct answer and to determine which one of those question is an easy and which one is a difficult then we need to perform item difficulty first we need to copy these data and transfer it into SPSS to do the analysis in the SPSS so to do that click on the question number one and then drag and then scroll to the end toward question number 76 hold 76 hold the shift key and click and those questions from 1 to 76 are highlighted then click on shift together with control and with the arrow that's heading toward the bottom uh, and this will highlight the data that we want to transfer once these data are highlighted right click and then select copy and then transfer this into SPSS in a new window of data view click on this cell and then right click and then paste the data from Excel into SPSS and here I'm going to do a few editing and modification I'm going to delete the first row and if we look at the variable view we need to do some editing for the changing the type of the data and lining the data and the measuring for the data and also naming the variable we'll start with the type so since we have here a value of 0 or 1 or a score of 0 and 1 for each question then we need to change this from a string into numeric and the way to do that is you click on the cell here three dots appear click on them and then a window appear here say, specifying what type of variable you want to select so for this we're going for numeric we click on ok and we do the same for the rest and so on so i've missed the first one so i'm going to also change the type to numeric and since once we started here we can also select the cell and uh, then copy and then select the cells that we want to change the type highlight them then right click and then paste all these cells has been changed to a numeric now for the align again you click in the align three options appear i'm going to make it center for the second one also center for the third one also center and to make it faster i'm going to copy the first one highlight and select all the one that i want to change and then paste to make them all center and for major again we're going to keep it as scale at this stage now for naming of the variables they are all na named from variable 1 to 76 and i'm going to change that naming so if we highlight that column here all the variable and then uh, click ctrl f for replace find and replace a window will appear for find the replace variable and in the find i'm going to type var000 and then i'm going to replace anything with var variable 000 with q for question and i'm going to do that for all the variables so we replace all the variables so we click on replace all and as we can see here all the variable name has been changed into q number one to q number 76 with the 38 cases now we are ready to do item difficulty analysis straight away 
the way to do that is to click on analyze scroll down to descriptive statistics then scroll down to descriptive in the descriptive we are going to calculate the item difficulties for all the questions so we're going to select all control a and then drag into the box of variables uh, under the options click on the options and take the mini minimum the maximum the standard deviation and keep the mean because the mean in this case is the total amount of the correct answer divided by um, the total number of students participating in the exam so the mean reflects here the item difficulty so click on continue and then click on OK the SPSS will generate an output a table from question number one to question number 76 and in this question there is a mean for each question which is the average of the correct answer for every individual item or question so this is the value here is the item difficulty or the p-value and it could be trans changed into percentage by multiplying it by 100 as a standard role a rule in uh, calculating and evaluating item difficulty any item which has a value for item difficulty between 0.41 and 0.6 is considered to be an acceptable and ideal and a moderate difficult question anything below 0 0.1 0 0.41 and or higher than 0.6 is considered to be either a very difficult or an, a very easy question so here for the question number one the item difficulty is 0.18 which mean 18 percent of the student answered this question correctly so it is a difficult question in fact it is a very difficult question the question number two has a value of 0.95 or 95 percent of the student answered the question correctly so this indicates that the question is extremely easy question question number three uh, had a value of 0.39 just on the border of 0.41 so we'll consider that as an acceptable question question number four has a value of 0 0.79 0 0.8 80 percent so this indicates that this is an easy or extremely easy question question number five has a value of 0.66 again this one will be included in the category for moderately difficult question so we'll accept that as an acceptable question so if you look a scroll through all we can see here there is 92 percent of the student answered the question correctly uh, so these the way this is the way to identify and determine which question is an easy question or extremely easy question and which question is an extremely difficult question or a difficult question and so this well this way an examiner will be able to identify the question modify them or change them and make the exam quality of a high standard um uh, for the students and um, to transfer this table i'm going to export this table into excel and save it as an excel file and the way to do that is to click on the table as it's highlighted in yellow and then right click on it and there is a function for export click on that export and I'm going to export that table into Excel uh, which is 2007 and higher and I'm going to save that in the folder for YouTube under exam questions and I'm going to save it here as item difficulty choose the item difficulty here and save
item difficulties and I'm going to save it in under item difficulties and then if we click on item difficulty and save it here and then we made sure that this box for open the containing folder is ticked on if we click on ok again it will be exported and the file is saved uh, in item difficulty in the folder